Hello everyone and welcome to this Tasty Debrief. Yesterday I went to the cinema to see The Courier and I'd love to share my thoughts with you. There will be some spoilers. This film tells the true story of a British businessman unwillingly recruited into one of the greatest international conflicts in history, forming an unlikely partnership with a Soviet officer hoping to prevent a nuclear confrontation. The two men work together to provide the crucial intelligence used to defuse the Cuban Missile Crisis. KGB, baby! (laughs) If you are a listener of the main Close Up Culture podcast, you'll know that we've seen a few films set in this era, and I think this has to be one of my favourites. I'm not an idiot, but often find historical dramas hard to follow as there's just so many dates and changes, and then throwing so much complicated political war stuff and it just overwhelms me completely. This film, however, didn't do that. It stuck to the point of following these two people, one, an average businessman, and the other a spy, as they went about trying to save the world from nuclear war and becoming great friends in the process. It was complex, in exploring relationships and threats at the time, but simple in only having a few main characters and only really exploring the backgrounds of the two main men. I appreciated that, keeping things straightforward to really focus on the true, sad, yet incredible story rather than fluff out the edges. Benedict Cumberbatch does an amazing job in starring as he always does, giving us an insight into this bizarre story and one I'm really glad to now know. There must be so many people in history who we owe our lives and it's wonderful to see those on our screen. I found his scenes in prison heartbreaking, really showing off how powerful his acting can be, tugging at everyone's heartstrings. Playing his wife is Jessie Buckley, who I love and was wonderful in this suspicious motherly role especially after seeing her on the TV show Chernobyl. For me, Mirab Nidzi, who played Oleg Penkovsky, was my favourite. He was so strong and interesting, truly invested in this role of a true, real person who deserves to have his name known far and wide. And I'd never actually seen him in anything before, so I really want to look at what other stuff he's done, because if he was this good in this, I, I want to see everything else he's in. I really did feel sad at how it ended, learning the truth and it's mental to think about the past and how things haven't changed in many ways. People do what they can do to survive, and in this case, they do what they can to try and help everyone survive. And to be able to see these stories in mainstream cinema is upsetting, yet wonderful, allowing history to not be forgotten, but learned from. Thank you for listening to this Tasty Debrief. We'll be in your ears again soon. Bye!